time to work on this and I don't have time to get this thing going. So I've decided to uh, start another piece that I can start from scratch there and work on something a little easier to work with than this wax. Um, I've got to get a uh, few things ready for my trip. Uh, I've got to get uh, a stand made for my Galaxy 2 so that uh, I can set it up on my table and look at my reference material on here for uh, what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I'm going to go get started and I'll come back in a second with, uh, well, I'll come back. Well, it ain't pretty, but it's workable. Um, I just built this uh, little stand uh, for uh, holding my can uh, Galaxy 3, Samsung Galaxy 3, or 2, and uh, just have to cut it down a little bit in the back, I think, but uh, I think it's going to work out fine. I just need something so where I can uh, go to my folders and uh, go to my art stuff, and for instance, uh, if I want to do human anatomy, I've got to go to my reference uh, material here, really easy, uh, just show you here. And uh, you know, I can look at different parts of the uh, reference material and work from that and have it all sitting there in front of me on this uh, Galaxy 2. Uh, it's a Galaxy 2 7.0, uh, which I just uh, got a, about a week ago. And uh, I'm just learning how to use it, but uh, I can see uh, great uh, possibilities here uh, for getting material to me uh, right away, like the vein system uh, in the arm and things like that. So, I can see this as being a very handy uh, item here. So, uh, I got that done. Now I can go back to, uh, well, I got to get uh, a light stand, or not a light stand, but a camera stand made, built so that it's a little easier to work with. I might just do it with this thing here. Yeah. Why not? Anyway, that's what I'm going to do to continue working on. All right, I got my uh, stand set up. Uh, I can now go to my uh, Galaxy 2 and uh, pick up my reference material. And uh, if somebody wants to see a video, like coloring a bronze, uh, I can bring up a video. It's got a great sound. I mean, you can really hear this. So if somebody wants to know how a bronze is colored, they can just sit and watch uh, my video of it being colored. Give me a great tool. Uh, Alright, I had an old file drawer in the back. Let me turn this so you can see it. You can see the uh, thing here. Long, narrow, and just perfect for what I need here. So I just drilled a couple of holes in the uh, bottom of the drawer and, and, and drilled it down to the, uh, or screwed it down to the table. Um, I had this in the back. I was going to go to the store and get one, but you know, it's going to get dirty anyway, so I figured why not use one back there. And I've screwed this down so it won't be falling off of each of the table. I'll still carry my big uh, bucket of clay, um, only because I want to have it all cut up and ready to go. And whenever I need clay, I'll just take it out of that bucket and put it in this bucket. <sighs> um, Got to attach the uh, light thing here, so I'm going to do that next. And uh, once I get that done, then I'm going to start figuring out uh, the... Uh, design of the next piece. I, I had a flash on the way over here what I'm going to do and uh, 
if, if it's as good as I saw it in my head, it's going to be dynamite. So, let's get back to work here and uh, continue. Alright, I'm going to take this off. Um, I am going to take the little, you know, prospector with me. Only because, uh, Screw. <laughs> anyway, I'm still going to take this with me only because uh, I want to feel the gallery owner what I'm doing and get his in input. It's always good to get a gallery owner's input into what you're doing because, quite honestly, they have to sell the artwork. Now remember what I told you: you don't bend by pulling on this because that'll break this femur. You take the joints and you work your hand on both sides taking the pressure off the uh, length because there's no wire going through this. This is just uh, resin and it will break. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing here and just twist that up. Be holding a sheathed rifle, in other words, uh, in, a, in a kind of leather sheath. I'm going to have him looking up uh, as he's touching it because he's looking to, at where the, wherever it is his prey or his uh, target is moving. Be plenty of screw for that. do the same thing with a foot, except I'll do it with a shorter screw. I don't have to use a two and a half inch or to do that. Perfect. And then I'll put a little uh, just cuts into the aluminum wire and holds it right in place. So now I've got the foot so that we can have, uh, in fact I'm going to do the same thing back here because, uh, well I'm going to adjust that when I get to that point. Okay, that's uh, the tracker. Okay, that's called the tracker, and uh, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, I might just put a bow in his hand because if he's a tracker, he's going to want to be silent, and uh, you know, a gun would draw too much attention if he was to fire it off. Let's do it there. So we go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys uh, on the trip. Good night.